Let us, re let us rejoice and exult for joy, for the Lord of all has shown his love for a holy and glorious virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we're celebrating this Holy Mass in honor of Blessed Marie Rose Durocher, Virgin, to pray for the intentions of Claire Calloway. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, who enkindled in the heart of blessed Marie Rose Durocher, the flame of ardent charity, and a great desire to cooperate in the mission of the church as a teacher, grant us that same active love so that in responding to the needs of the world today, we may lead our brothers and sisters to the blessedness of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. During the Babylonian ca captivity, the exiles prayed, justice is with the Lord our God, and we today are flushed with shame, we men of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem, that we with our kings and rulers and priests and prophets and with our ancestors have sinned in the Lord's sight and disobeyed him. We have neither heeded the voice of the Lord our God nor followed the precepts which the Lord set before us. From the time the Lord led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until the present day, we have dis been disobedient to the Lord our God and only too ready to disregard his voice and the evils and the curse that the Lord had joined upon Moses, his servant, at the time he led our ancestors forth from the land of Egypt to give us the land flowing with milk and honey, cling to us even today. For we did not heed the voice of the Lord, our God, in all the words of the prophets whom he sent us, but each one of us went off after the devices of his own wicked heart, served other gods, and did evil in the sight of the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the field. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of, of those around us. O oh Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will you, your jealousy burn like fire? 
Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion come quickly to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. And whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. The reading today, the readings both, the first and the gospel, reminded a story of uh, two priests standing by the road holding a sign which reads, the end is near. And two girls drive by and yell to them, religious nuts. And the priests look at each other and they said, we should have written, the bridge is out. (laughs) So of course that uh, very soon those girls will see the end, even though they thought the priests were talking about the end of time. So they didn't believe in the priests, but they reject the warning because they did not care to understand. And that is what mentioned in the first reading, the teaching of God and the teaching of the prophets, Moses and other prophets, to warn the people of the dangers of rejecting God's commandments. They commit sin, breaking God's commandments, and disasters before them again and again. And yet, God forgives them, brings them back to the Holy Land, and faithful to them always, regardless of their repeated sins. So that is the the message of mercy that we warn others of the dangers of rejecting God. And um, I had a a teacher back in Vietnam, an older uh, and wise man. He said, about 10% of your students listen to you, only 10% average. And even 1%, even Zero percent, like in the case of the two girls in the first story, we still need 
to warn, to warn others, especially our young people who have not had a lot of wisdom yet and have not had a lot of regrets yet. Uh, they have not made a lot of mistakes or serious mistakes to have much of a regret. And so they need to hear the message, even though we know that they may likely reject our message. But it's out of love for them and out of mercy for them. And like to yesterday, we celebrate St. Faustina, the missionary of divine mercy. So out of love for them, the saint of today, blessed Maria Rose Durocher, out of love and mercy for poor girls and even all the children to see that they lack Christian education. Not simply knowledge, but especially knowledge about God, about God's commandments, about Christian living, that our love for them, mercy for them, that she, with her uh, friends, established schools to teach those girls and poor girls and also the children so that they get to learn about Christian living. Even though maybe 10% of them eventually listen and live by the commandments of God, but it's still worth it, still worth all the effort. Even though we know that our young people, because of the worldliness that they imbue with, uh, they may reject what we teach, but we still need to teach them. Maybe only 10% of our teachings they listen to, but it's out of mercy for them and out of love for them. Let us pray for the spirit of love and mercy for our young people through the intercession of Blessed Maria Rose that we don't give up, don't give up our warning, our teaching, our correction uh, to our young people. Warn them of the disasters if they don't listen. Teach them about Christian living, the way of God, so that they can hopefully listen and avoid all the mistakes and the disasters that would befall them if they were not to listen. We have First Friday Collection, so ushers, could you please help? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we are for you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Pray, 
May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this suffering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from the old earthly ways and through the example of Blessed Maria Rose, we be renewed by growth in heavenly life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in a new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his assistants, bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
The five wise virgins brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Then at midnight the cry went up, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, come out to meet Christ the Lord.
Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fleeting world, so that following the example of blessed Marie Rose, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits the world, seeking the ruin of souls. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor. With